Hi, I'm Adam Goods from the Sydney Swans. Let's take a trip back in time to celebrate one of the Sydney Cricket Ground's golden moments in AFL. It's always been said in sport that records are made to be broken. However, some of them stubbornly refuse to budge. That was certainly the case in Australian rules football. Gordon Coventry's benchmark of 1,299 goals survived the passing of time. The Collingwood sharpshooter kicked the last of his majors way back in 1937, and the figure wasn't seriously threatened until the fading light of the 20th century by a giant of a man with a great appetite for goals. Lockett, the most important kick of his career. Any score will do. He kicks. During a controversial and colourful career, Tony Lockett had been the league's leading goal scorer four times in 12 seasons. And if anyone was going to break the record, it would be the boy from Ballarat. Tony Lockett. As the 1999 AFL season progressed, Lockett moved closer to the elusive 1300 figure. Listen to the crowd. And by round 10, the anticipation of history being created had reached fever pitch, with over 41,000 fans crammed into the Sydney cricket ground. Two weeks ago against the Eagles, it was perhaps, what if he breaks the record today? It's just a matter of when. Lockett entered the match against Collingwood, needing three goals to write a new chapter in the code, and wasted little time in reaching for the record books. He's going to get back. Black has got it. He's going to equal the record. It's all scored. Then, just before the first break, Sydney launched another attack and Swans captain Paul Kelly had no trouble finding the imposing figure in jersey number four. So, for 90 years the Collingwood Footy Club have held the record and for 62 years it stood at 12.99. Will he write his name in the record book forever? Come on, With this kick, it's going to go! Got it! It's got it! He's done it! And aren't we privileged? to be a little part of it. A remarkable player ensures the fact for however long we play the game, he will be remembered forever. I was definitely one of those players that um, disregarded the, the coach's um, feedback to run away from him when he kicked the goal because the crowd would come out and it would take a long time to clear the oval and all the players were to congregate out in the middle of the SCG and when I saw Paul Kelly run over it I was just thought I'm getting in there to congratulate him and 15 minutes later you know just people around you and I just remember the intense heat I was just sweating so so much because of the amount of people that were just around us and surrounding us and we weren't threatened at all from the fans you know they were just as excited as we were a great opportunity for them to say I ran onto the SCG when Plugger kicked his record breaking goal. Jared McVeigh, the co-captain of the Sydney Swans at the moment, he was there, he ran on the ground and 16 years later he's, he's captaining the, the football club. There's some fantastic stories from the day. When things settled down and the game resumed after quarter time, he continued his rampage. Will he do it again on the siren? Yes, he will. <laughs> the powerful full forward was simply unstoppable as the Swans capped off one of the SCG's most memorable afternoons with a 51-point thumping of the Magpies. Tony Lockett has had the most magnificent day, but doesn't he deserve it? Not only did he equal and then break the long-standing record of Gordon Coventry, the most faded record of the game, he went on really to be the match winner, as he has done so often. Lockett ended up with nine goals, but there was one in particular that was enshrined in Australian sporting folklore. Very relieved actually, probably hasn't really sunk in yet, but um, yeah, fantastic day, one I guess uh, I'll remember for the rest of my life. It is an amazing achievement, over 1300 goals and uh, we just had a training night the other month and the young kids are coming up to me and asking me how many goals have I kicked and you know, I tell them I played 330 odd games and kicked over 420 goals and they're like, oh wow, they're like, who's kicked the most? And I said, like, Tony Lockett and they go, how many? I said, 1300 plus and they're like, what? I was like, yeah, I've only got 900 and something to go. Imagine sitting in the back of the car in front of 40 odd thousand screaming fans with a band belting out with only one Tony Lockett. He's almost got a tear in his eye, the big fella, I think. It's one of those once in a lifetime things and one of those memories that I'll always uh, look back on and say I was there when Plugger kicked his record goal. I just hope people realise how fortunate they are to experience this. You'll never see it again, not in our lifetime, 
probably never again in the history of the game.